Le Rhythm Digital. And our old pal Nick, sometimes. Let's check this out. Why am I doing this song on an acoustic guitar? Well, because it's a synth song, right? Um, so, you know, why not? Uh, it'll just sound even worse on an electric. So, uh, there is a couple of guitar stabs in this song, um, but really it's a keyboard tune. So, we have four chords that we're moving between. It's an A, F, That makes up most of the song. Now, um, we'll come back to that shortly. But this bass line, all right, let's talk about that first. Uh, first things first is drop D tuning. Okay, so you need to tune your low E down to D. And the, the bass line is really just outlining those chords. So we start off with a... tone on G down to F down to D back to F passing tone on G back second time some interesting stuff happens we have uh, an F sharp right so um, and we end the, the riff on a, on a C. So uh, the C is the 5 of F, so that makes sense that we're ending the riff um, on an F chord because the chords again, A, F, D, F, right? They're all major. Um, so we end that riff on a C, 5 of F. But bringing in that major third of D is interesting there. It adds some really uh, nice harmonic character to this. So harmonically, this song doesn't make a lot of sense. It's, uh, it's really modal, okay? Uh, if we look at this as A major to F, you just say that you're borrowing the F from the key of A minor, going to a D, which is the four of A, back to the F. You could look at it that way, right? Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, this, there's the harmony of this song. Just think of it in chords. Don't try to think of it in terms of... Uh, really in terms of keys and stuff, okay? Because everything that's going to happen is just going to follow the chords. Yeah, so just repeating that. And the second time. So you've got the tab um, uh, in the link below. You've got the tab... Uh, on the screen so there you go now if we go back just a little bit here chords vocals coming Okay, so again, the chords are A, F, D, and F, all major. So you're going to play triads up here, okay? So there's an A major chord right there, okay? You should know these chords. Take your C shape, move it up to A, right? And you play that triad right there. Ninth fret with your index finger on the E note, middle finger on the A note, tenth fret B, and then... D string uh, right there, C sharp. Okay, and then you have an F. This is the next chord. So there's an F bar chord. You play 10, 10, 10 right across there. And then you have a D bar chord. You play the middle three, the typical triad. So you get. That 
that's it. Okay? A, F, D, F. Plucking them with my three fingers like a claw. I'm hooking my pick inside my finger, George Lynch style. All right. And when the vocal kicks in, he just goes, or the he, they. Now you could add the high E into that too. Um, right? If you wanted to, I wouldn't. I think that sounds uh, fine just like that, okay? Uh, okay, so one thing to note though is um, that riff. The second time we talked about before how it ends on a, a C, it doesn't do that in the um, in the verses. In the verses, it goes, it uses that G as the transition note. Okay, so if we just listen real quick to uh, one more part of that verse. Okay. Right now, listen. Okay. So the C only happens at the intro. I think it happens later in the song, just listen for it. But in the verse, you're going to use the G as the transition back to the A. Okay. Now, um, there's not much else going on in this song. There's like a little, like an intermediate part where we change chords for a moment. Let's see if we can find that. Right here, this part. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that also happens earlier as well. Right here, listen, you hear it? Okay. Listen, C and G, watch. All right, so the chords, I always like to figure out the chords first, right? So it's a C bar, you're playing, playing the C triad, and then you're playing a G triad, right? There's the G. You're playing just like the A, just move down a whole step, All right? Okay, super easy. All right, so the bass line part, let's find that. All right, here we go. Really interesting really interesting there so remember again C and G right so we start on a G C to E and then E D C back to G and then it ends with a on an E so all together So it ends on an E, and what's the note after that? Back to the main riff, which is an A. So what do we have? Perfect cadence, right? We have E resolving to the one, the five to the one, right? Very, very clever, very, very clever. So let's listen to that one more time. Ah, God damn it! one more here. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys, sorry. The one, the A, right? So really, really clever. Okay, super duper clever. Um, and then the only other thing to mention here is there's a nice little keyboard melody somewhere in here. Let me see if I can find this. Here we 
go. Right here. So there, uh, we're just playing over the main chords, A, F, D, F, and uh, tabs up, start on the A, third of A, the G, uh, C sharp, walk up to C, which is over the F chord, and then up to D, a little run, and then it ends on an A. Now why does it end on an A? What's the third of F? Huh? Right, so it all it all fits together here. So real simple, tabs up, tabs below. Super super simple. So after that and before that, it's all the same stuff, just repeated uh, over and over and over again. It's a real banger. This is a great song. Um, Put at the end here. Yeah, just on the way out there. One more time. F D F A F D F. Boom. All right, guys. Awesome stuff. Great song. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Bye.